let's learn how to create a daily journal page in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. So with Illustrator open, go to File and New, select Print. I'm going to do this in US letter format, so select it. Keep everything in millimeters, make sure your orientation is portrait. I don't want any bleed and I'm happy with the color mode and PPI. From there, click Create. Let's quickly save the AI file. File, save, save on computer. Select a save location, so I'll put mine in my DWD images folder. We'll call this Daily Journal, Adobe Illustrator file, and click Save. Press OK. Turn on the grid, so Command or Control parentheses, so you can use this to turn the grid on and off as you please. So I'm going to work with the grid on. Come to Illustrator, Preferences, General, and under Grids and Guide, I'm going to work with a grid every 25.4 mil. If I'm looking at my canvas here, the grids are pretty much lining up with the edge of my page, so I'm happy with that. Press OK. Next, go to View, Rulers, Show Rulers. And also, this can help as well. Make sure your smart guides are turned on. That will help you line things up without having to freehand everything. We're now going to Snap to Grid. So you shift command or control and parentheses to turn on the snap to grid. And you can check this by going to view and in the grid options here, make sure snap to grid's turned on. So you can toggle this on or off using the hotkeys. Let's pull out some rulers to create some margins. So click and drag. Going to do my ruler three grids in and the same on the other side. And now let's quickly find the center point. Let's draw a rectangle, the length of the page. So there's my center point. Let's grab a ruler across select a backspace to delete this, command minus just to zoom out, and let's do the same on the other axis. Select my rectangle, quickly create a rectangle the length of the page. There's my center point. Let's click and drag a ruler down. So I've got my center point. Select with a selection tool and backspace to delete. Command or control plus to zoom in, hand tool to scroll up. So I'm going to split this into two parts. I'm going to have my top section lines and my bottom section dots. So come over to fill and stroke. Let's turn off the fill and leave the stroke on. Grab my line tool, click and drag out a line in between my rulers and hold shift to keep it perfectly straight. From there release, select it with selection tool, hover over and hold alt or option and then click and drag to create a duplicate and then release three squares down. And then if I command or control D, I can duplicate the last action and repeat this until I get to the center line. Click off that last line. Let's command or control minus to zoom out. And let's command or control parentheses to hide the grid and command or control colon to turn off the rulers for now. We can always turn them back on. So there you go. There's the line section of my daily journal. So if I select these with the selection tool and I come to my stroke panel and I show options, I can change the weight, size, and so on and so forth. And if I come to my swatches panel and I select the stroke, I can either select a color from here or I can double click the stroke and add a custom color from here and click OK. So this is the line section of my journal. Now I'm going to add a dotted section. So let's Command or Control parentheses to turn the grid back on and Command or Control colon to turn the rulers back on. Reset my fill and swatch. Click fill, swap so that the fill is black and then click the stroke and turn off. I just want that black fill. Turn off snap to grid. So shift, Command or Control parentheses and let's grab an ellipse and simply just quickly draw out an ellipse on the canvas, it doesn't matter how big it is, hold and shift to keep it in line. So bring up your swatches panel, if you can't find it in the sidebar, window swatches, select the ellipse with the selection tool and click and drag into the swatches panel to create a pattern. Once you've added your pattern, double click to go inside to your pattern swatch. So from here now you can create your dotted bullet section of your journal. So if we command or control plus to zoom in, select with selection tool so we can make the dot smaller. You can see the width and height here. Hold shift to keep it in line. You can also change the size of the distance between each dot in the width and the height here. So we can say move this up to 10 mil, move that to 10 mil, and so on and so forth. Let's click and drag this back 
to the top left. And once you're happy with the pattern, then simply click done to come back into the main canvas. So the pattern is here. So what we need to do now is apply this to a shape. So if we command minus to zoom out, so I don't need this little dot anymore. So use selection tool, highlight, backspace to delete. Then let's select my rectangle tool. Now make sure the pattern is selected. So that's my fill. The pattern is the fill for the rectangle. And from there then, simply click and drag out the rectangle onto the canvas and snap it to the grid lines. Command or control parentheses to turn off the grid. So there are two ways now I can change the dots. I can either go back in the swatches panel to the pattern swatch and double click to go back in. And then from there, I just command plus to zoom in. I can make changes once more in here. So let's make this dot maybe a little smaller. And when I'm happy, click done. And if I come back out then, as you can see, that has made the dot smaller. Or what I can do is use the selection tool, select the rectangle with the fill, come to object, transform and scale and check off transform objects and check on transform patterns. And from there then I can use the scale system to make the dots bigger or smaller, depending on what I'm trying to do. So I can play around with those two options. And once I'm happy, click OK. So this journal now is coming together. So if I command or control semicolon to turn my guides off, here we go. I've got my line section and I've also got my dotted section. So play around, tweak them, get them a little more in line. You know, I'm doing this very quickly. You can take a little bit more time than me. And lastly, we can add a couple of things at the top. So if I just command or control parentheses to turn my grid back on, command or control plus to zoom in, it's come off the swatches. So let's turn snap to grid back on grab my type tool. So for example, let's draw out a quick type box. I could do something like today's date, use the character panel to make changes accordingly, set my area type to center, and then I could use the line segment tool. Let's switch no fill black line. I'll click and drag out a line here to add the date and something else. I could do on the right hand side, maybe I want to add how I'm feeling, so I could do a bit of a mood tracker. So let's go to selection tool, grab this text box, hold out or option, and click and drag out to create a duplicate. Let's bring this over this side. Let's put today's mood, check off, and then if I come to my ellipse tool, and I can draw out a simple ellipse, switch that to white fill black stroke, selection tool. Let's just bring this across so that it's in line with the lines here. And when I print this off, I could fill in emoji style how I'm feeling for the day. So if I command or control zero to full screen this, let's turn off the grid, command or control parentheses, and I'm pretty happy with that. You'll take a bit more time than me, get it kind of looking pristine, but I think that's good enough for now. So let's just save the AI file. So file, save, all my changes have been saved. And finally, then let's export this as a PDF. So file, save as, save on computer. Let's put this in my images folder as well. So set my format to PDF. We'll call this dailyjournal.pdf. And then there's my AI file. So if I want to make any changes, I can go back into that file specifically and then export again. Press save. PDF X 1A 2001. Save PDF. Press OK. And then finally, if I come to my finder, come to images. So there's my AI file ready to be modified at any time. And there is my final PDF, which I can send to the printer and print off as many times as I like. And like I said before, you know, I've done this very quickly. You can spend a bit more time getting the space in exact and making sure that everything is spaced accordingly. But there you have it. There is a very simple daily journal PDF template you can create in Illustrator. So you could print these off as many times as you like and fill them in every day. You've got two options here as well. You've got the lined option and you've got your bullet journal section as well. So you can kind of mix and match these options as you like. You can have all lined, you could have all bullet journals, you can have a bit of both entirely up to you. But I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. Hope this gave you what you need to create your very own daily journal page that you can print off and use as many times as you like. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial